hi guys Lense, and in this video i'll be showing you how you can bypass the verification account with google as you can see here right so you want to hold the middle button right here keep holding it and this search bar would come up you want to type in google chrome here and no thanks so you want to search here in the google bar for google chrome for apex launcher you want to download apex launcher the latest version to the device after you finish downloading the apex launcher you want to go to file manager here and then you want to go to apps here you want to install the launcher Now it is installed, you want to open and then here we are. I am going to show you what we are going to do. Here we are. I'm going to show you what we are going to do next. You will need to download these three files right here. The main two files there that we are going to use now is the usb driver quadcom and also all-in-one tool yeah so you will need to download these files i'll i will provide the link in the video description the next thing we are going to do is to install the driver which is this one right here so you want to open the usb driver we can extract it, it right here and then for the driver I am on the 32 bit setup so you can choose which version you are on for Windows. I am going to install the driver, accept the terms and license agreement, install the driver, and then after the driver is installed, you need to restart your computer if required, and then we can use the software to remove the FRP Google verification lock. Qualcomm driver is now installed so now I am going to extract the software right here as well extract the files here and this tool is the all-in-one tool and I am going to open this is the software right here I'm going to open the software and we will need to connect the device which i'll be doing shortly so i'm going to connect the device and choose connect to pc software so the tool is now open so we need to click this one right here gsm flasher bypass abd tool
and once it is connected properly it will read the phone info as you can see that it is saying that we should allow so i am going to click always allow usb debugging you want to press ok and as you can see that it is not reading up here zte blade a320 version 7.11 uh, android and we are going to remove the frp lock right now done so the frp lock is now removed and we are good to go i'm going to just restart the device as you can see that everything is working perfectly here now uh, the FRP lock is gone and we are good to go the phone is now fully functioning and the FRP lock is gone so I am going to just dial and dial the IMEI number here so you can see again guys my name is lens and i would like you to subscribe to my channel all the links will be in the video description and also little tips and hints that can help you to remove your frp google verification lock for your zte phone and yeah like this video and please subscribe to my channel this one was you know uh, i know that there are a lot of vital information here so go on hit that subscribe button and yeah share this video on social media i'm out